Hello, welcome everybody to another ECFL broadcast. It's your boy 951 Beast. I'm in the booth with Albino. We got number 10 Ole Miss versus number 7 Tulane tonight. Oh, How we doing? a good game. How we doing, Albino? Man, I'm just excited to be here. I always love being in the booth. So, it's going to be a good night. Most definitely his first time in the booth with you. Let's get it. Here we go. Kick off return here for Ole Miss. Nice little decent return. Um, this this team, both this game right here, has playoff implications on the line for Ole Miss. I'm not sure what the scenarios are. I know if Ole Miss is a chance, has a chance to knock off Tulane later in the playoffs. Definitely Tulane is already locked in for the playoffs. Is that correct, Albino? I believe they are locked in. Um, it's been a couple days since I've looked at the playoff picture, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> all right, all right, I got you. Okay, either way, we've got a good game underway, everyone. Here we go. Uh, Jen Shinobi drops back, dumps a pass off to Ralph Rodriguez, and he is tackled for a loss on the play. It will be third and 13 with not that great a field position for the Rebels. Yeah, definitely not a start that they were looking for, I don't think. But this is going to be a talented two-lane defense they're up against here. Definitely. I heard a lot about this defense. I've seen Tulane play a lot. Um, they're a great team. Let's see what Ole Miss is going to be able to do. But the pass was there, but a great defensive play by the Tulane defensive back, which knocks the ball down. It's going to be 4th and 13 for Ole Miss, and they will be punting the ball away to the green wave. Yeah, just a quick drive overall there. I mean, they were deep back in the own end zone, so no other ch choice but to get rid of it there. Most definitely, and, and you know, uh, MJ Whitten with the return for Tulane. Um, they have a great field position. They come out here with the in the gun, Smoke Rivers with Whitten in the backfield, hands off to Whitten, of course. Runs the man over, falls down. Kaiju Whitten with a nine yard carry, his first carry of the night. It will be second and one for Tulane Green Wave. And every time I look at that guy, I think he is just a beast mode looking SOB. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a monster back there. Uh, Smoke Rivers dumps the ball over the middle, passes complete to MJ Witten. Uh, I believe that's Kaiju's brother or cousin or some, some family member of some sort. That will be first and 10 to Lane. Here we go in the gun. Smoke Rivers drops back, scans the field, dumps the ball over the middle, passes complete to MJ Witten again. Nine yard reception. It's the second catch of the night from MJ Witten. It will be second and one for the Green Wave. On two lane, just not wasting any time here. And they're driving down the field very efficiently on their first drive. Pass is complete in the backfield, but he is swarmed by a, a, a host of uh, old Miss Rebels. Tackled right there. It's going to be second and, I mean, third and three. As you see the replay, um, the first tackle was missed, but he was met by a second uh, old Miss defender, and he was tackled immediately. Yeah, not a bad defensive play there for Ole Miss. We've got, we got a Tulane and Trips right formation. They dump off the left to, to Witten. 
He is tackled in the backfield for no gain by Norm Martell, number five. Hyped up for making that stop, holding the lane to a field goal attempt. It's going to be fourth and four. The ball is up, and it is good. The lane is stopped from getting in the end zone by the Ole Miss defense, but still comes away with three points. So a successful drive to put the first points on the board by the Green Wave. Yeah, absolutely good drive there. You know, I was expecting more with how quickly they were moving, but you can't complain with three points even. Exactly. You'll take these points. When it's the ECFL, we're, you know, very com competitive all over this league. And, you know, you can take the points where you can get them. So here we absolutely. go. Ole Miss, Ole Miss comes back out on their next drive. They're out in the gun. Single back for, in a single back in the backfield with Shinon Nobi. Dumps the ball off. It was a diving attempt to make the catch, but the ball is still dropped. It's going to be second and ten for Ole Miss Rebels. That makes it second and ten. Well, I at least give him props there for laying out for that one. Yeah, the effort is what counts. You know, he drops back, dumps the ball off, but there's no win in sight. He overthrows that pass. It will be third and ten. I believe the old, old Miss quarterback just needs to slow down. I believe he is a little excited playing against this Tulane, highly ranked Tulane team. This needs to play his ball game. Scans the field. And oh my gosh, Kamikaze Von Doom with the deflection. That's the second deflection of the night. It will be fourth and ten. For the old Miss Rebels, they will be punting the ball back away to the Tulane Green Wave. The old Miss definitely hoping for another defensive stop, that's for sure. Another defensive stop they need. Um, this Tulane offense is high powered. They're not playing no games. And, you know, if you're going to have offensive outings like that against this talented team, you, your defense most definitely needs to step up. Here we go, pass complete to Tanner Baxter for a six-yard reception tackle made by Bo Cannon. It will be second and four for the Green Wave. That was just a all around a nice squared up tackle. I mean, he definitely laid the boom on him there. Yeah, making plays makes the, you know, kind of calls a fumble. You know, sometimes you can make it happen, sometimes you can't. Here we go, Smoke Rivers on the right. Rolls out, dumps the ball off to MJ Witten. He does a toe tap on the sideline, stays in bounds. First and ten, Green Wave. Man, these, these Witten brothers are just a one-two punch for, these, for this Green Wave. Yeah, I agree with you on that. They're both very talented. Here we go, pass over the middle to MJ Witten. Six-yard reception will be second and four. Like you said, it's either uh, MJ's getting the ball or Kaiju's getting the ball. Um... You got Smoke Rivers right now. He hasn't had an incompletion yet. He's, uh, I believe he's 7 for 7. You got a man motioning out the backfield. Second and four. Smoke Rivers scans the field. Oh, my goodness. Number, you got to catch that ball, baby. Iron interception was dropped by an uh, old Miss Rebel defender. It's going to be third and four. Smoke Rivers drops back, scans the field, dumps off to the left. Pass is complete to Ben Blazing, his first catch of the night, but he is unable to stay in bounds. They will settle for another field goal attempt. It is fourth and two. The kick is off. And it's up, and it's good. Nice kick by the Tulane kicker. Pack another three points on the board. It is 6-0 Tulane over Ole Miss. Nice uh, opportunity for Ole Miss to hold Tulane from out the end zone, though. You know, it's... Uh, they're trying to keep this game within reach. You don't want this Tulane team to get too far away from them. No, absolutely not. And to be able to hold them to two field goals right off, the, right in the start, is uh, that's major for the Rebels. Major key. So we got Ole Miss coming back out on the field. Jin Shinobi, you know, has been throwing the ball a little errant. Just needs to calm down. Um, I haven't seen them go to their halfback. Zylo yet. There been there goes the pass is complete to Ralph Rodriguez. 13 yard reception. First and ten rebels. Let's see uh Albino if the Rebels can get a drive going together here. Yeah, I'd definitely love to see one happen. Here we go, pass complete. Stiff arm by Zylo, 10 yard reception. It is second and inches for the Rebels. 
Oh man, yeah, I thought he was right there, but I'm I'm gonna agree with that call. He's short. All right, we got doubles to the right. We got Chanel Boy doing a, a hot read. Dumps the ball off, pass complete. Man, the still, legs are still churning. That's the Thomas Ferguson, 14-yard reception. First and 10, Rebels. And they are slowly starting the drive here, Albino. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what they can do when they get moving. Trip flat formation, dumps the ball off back to Thomas Ferguson. Another 7-yard reception. It will be second and three, Rebels. Shinobi comes out in the gun, empty set. He has trips to the left. Drops back, scans the field, dumps off, passes complete, breaks a tackle, he's tackled again. That is Thomas Ferguson, another catch. He's three catches for 35 yards for so far tonight. And he looks like he's uh, going to be a major key in this drive here. Definitely. Here we go. Shinobi drops back, scans the field, dumps off to the left. He barely catches it before he goes out of bounds for a four-yard reception. First catch of the night for George Johnson. It will be second and six Rebels. We got Devils formation. Single back. Shinobi drops back. He's going to dump it off to his back. Zylo stiff arms the man out of bounds, but it's still a two-yard loss. It's going to be third and eight. It's going to be key down here, Albino. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's definitely um, easy enough for Ole Miss to get a first down here, but... You never know against this two-lane defense. Yeah, this two-lane defense is very challenging, especially down here in the red zone. Here we go, empty set. Shinobi drops back, scans the field, dumps the ball off. Pass is complete to George Johnson for a three-yard reception, but it's tackled immediately by number one from Tulane. That guy. Here we go. Field goal attempt is fourth and five. The ball is up. And the field goal is good. The Rebels have put their first points on the on the board. This is a tight ball game, folks. It is 6-3 to Lane over Ole Miss here with a little well, almost three minutes left here in the first quarter. The ball is kicked off back to, to Lane here. A decent return by Ben Blazin, 27 yards. It's gonna be first and ten green wave. Yeah, it's gonna be, you know, key again here for Ole Miss to hold them. You know, at least to three points again. Exactly. They need to make plays and, and, and figure something out. This, this offense that, you know, they're, they have been completing uh, passes, Albino, on the last few drives, I noticed, at ease. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with these Ole Miss defensive, the defensive backfield. They, they definitely need to tighten up. Um, I'm surprised they haven't been giving the ball to uh, Kaiju as more running the ball. Ooh! Pressure. Smoke Rivers has pressure. Nice defensive uh, DB blitz right there by Trey Sean Carter getting in the backfield. It will be third and five for the Green Wave. Yeah, that's a major play there. That's that could be key to this drive. Here we go. Smoke Rivers dumps off the ball to the to the, to the right. Tanner Baxter with a 20-yard reception. A, it's a deep reception here to put a new set of downs out there for the Green Wave. Great uh, eye-hand coordination to catch that ball over his right shoulder going out of bounds by Tanner Baxter. It's going to be first and 10, Green Wave. Here we go. Smoke Rivers looks around, dumps the ball off, passes wide open over the middle, passes complete. Touchdown, Tanner Baxter, 52 yards in the end zone, Green Wave. Wow, that was absolutely a gorgeous play. I mean, that fooled everybody. You know, Baxter was just wide open, all alone by himself out there. So, good, good play by Green Wave there. Great play by Smoke Rivers. Uh, that pump fake, that that fake uh, was, a, was a play action call. Um, everybody bit on that. I mean, he was he, he almost uh, leaned his shoulder in close to the line of scrimmage behind his lineman there. Um, it caused the defensive backfield, maybe one of the safeties for Ole Miss, to bite. And Tanner Bachelor was just wide open, ready to get in the end zone. Um, nice place, nice place for uh, the green wave there. So it, the score now is 13-3. It's a 10-point game. We got Ole Miss coming back on the back, I mean, coming back onto the field for another possession for their offense for Jen Shinobi and company. First and 10 Rebels. Shinobi comes out empty set. 
looks around, scans the field. Pass is complete out to the left to John Smith. There goes John Smith's first reception of the night. He's one big playmaker for this old Miss offense. Do not let him let him get hot to Lane because he's going to start making big plays. We have empty set again. Ginobi Gen drops back, scans the field, passes complete to George Johnson. Six yard reception. It will be second and four Rebels. Well, I'd definitely love to see what uh, Jen can do here with this drive. Um, I'd like to see him calm down a little bit. Scans the field, passes complete. George Johnson, two yard reception. It's third and one. So here comes old, old Miss approaching the line. Doubles to the right. They're sending Zylo out in motion to the right. They're going to throw it to Zylo. Zylo catches the toe tap. Three yards. That's all he needed. It's first and ten. Old Miss Rebels. Now, I'm usually not a big fan of a drop down pass, but right there, I'd take that all day long. Yeah, exactly. We go on a screen, and they are all over the screen that time. Nice play by number 21 coming up to make the play on Zylo Zooms. It will be second and 13 after the loss on the play. Yeah, never my favorite play call, you know, with the screens, but part of the game. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Here we go. Trip to the left. Nobody drops back. Comes the ball off. Passes complete to Thomas Ferguson for a 10 yard reception. It now will be third and three for the Rebels. And once again, looks like Thomas Ferguson might be a target this drive. Yeah, Th Thomas Ferguson has been having a uh, had a great game last game, and he's looks like he's on a roll again here tonight for the Rebels as one of the go-to receivers. Here we go. We got Shinobi back in the gun. Dumps the ball off. Passes complete to George Johnson. Six-shot reception. First and ten. Ole Miss Rebels. All right, they're driving down the field here. We got Shinobi in the empty set. It's first and 10. Drops back, releases the ball. Passes complete to George Johnson. Nine yard reception. It's gonna be second and one. That is George Johnson's sixth catch of the night. Yeah, once again, you know, just a nice little dump, dump pass. Um, for Shu, I mean, he gets nine yards there, so definitely wouldn't complain about that one. And when they'll take what they can get out by you know how it goes you know a little dump off sometimes they work sometimes they don't but you'll definitely take them when you can get them it looks like shinobi was trying to go with the option read there and Tulane was all over that one so a tackle for a loss by kamikaze on the play and it will be third and five for the old miss rebels here that's you know what that's the end of the first quarter this is the ECFL broadcast. I'm your boy 951 Beast. I'm in the booth with Albino. The score is 13 to lane. Three old miss. We have a pretty good ball game here, folks. Let's see what happens here. We're headed into the second quarter. Here comes Vince Nobi out in the gun. Rips to the left. First play of the second quarter. Jensen Nobi drops back. Scans the field. He's looking. He's looking. He has time. Is he gonna run? No, he is sacked. Too much time. He is sacked on play. It will be fourth and seven. El Jefe de Goat with the sack. Yeah, I mean, he had plenty of time there, but, you know, I couldn't really see down the field. So I'm assuming that he was, you know, just didn't have uh, anybody open enough to feel comfortable. Yeah, it looks like it might have been a cover, uh, cover sack. So, um, Great play by and great credit, good credit to this um, Tulane Green Wave defensive backfield for the coverage on that. So the ball is punted. Yeah, so the ball is punted away. It's gonna be first and ten for Smoke Rivers and company. They're coming out with trips to the left. Smoke Rivers drops back, scans the field, jumps off, passes incomplete. Alex Roy in the coverage for Ole Miss. It will be second and ten. Green wave. Hands off the ball. There goes Kaiju right there with a carry. Breaks a couple tackles. He's still turning his legs. And a nine yard carry by Kaiju Witten. It's only his second carry of the night. It is third and one. Green wave. 
I'm sure Kaiju is telling Coach to feed him the ball more after that pepper run. Yeah, I'm surprised he has not got the ball as much so far tonight. Pass is complete. The Chache Menino, 10 yard reception. First and 10 to Lane. Smoke Rivers is at 12 for 15, 136, and a tough here at the top of the second quarter. We got Trish to the right. Smoke drops back, dumps the ball off. There's nobody over there. It passes incomplete. Nice coverage there by the old Miss Rebel deep, deep the backfield. It is going to be second and 10 for the green wave. Here goes Kaiju with a carry. Breaks the tackle, but he's met immediately by Alex Roy. No, overall, it has been a good defensive game so far, though, so I no complaints here on that front. Yeah, both defenses look like they came to play today. Here's a carry, and he's met in the backfield, tackled by Jay Money for a loss. Great defensive play by the Ole Miss Rebel defense to hold this Tulane offense from getting a first down. It will be fourth and four, and Tulane will be punting the ball away. Their first punt of the night. Yeah, a goal just stopped there from the Rebels. I'd like to see that one. Great stop. Great way to uh, let Tulane that you are still in this game and you have the ability to make a stop as well. So here comes Jen Shinobi and the Rebel offense. Empty set formation. He drops back. Scans the field. Passes complete right away. A short dump off to George Johnson. Six yard reception. It will be second and four for the Rebels. You just need a nice solid drive here. Yeah, here we go. Second and four. Looks like Shinobi's calling a hot, hot read. Scans the field. He gets the ball off. Passes complete to Zylo. Seven yard catch by Zylo. First and ten. Ole Miss Rebels. Coming, here comes Ole Miss Rebels coming on the gun again. They got trips to the left. Shinobi drops back. Dumps the ball off. Pass is complete to George Johnson. Four-yard reception. I will honestly out I would like to see Ole Miss try to throw the ball down the field. They are doing a lot of dump off. I mean, hey, if, if you do what's successful for you in this game, but, you know, push the ball down the field a little bit. I would definitely like to see that. Here goes another completion. Zylo runs the man over. Gets to the first down marker before he's pushed back. First and ten, Rebels. Yeah, you know, I think I agree with you. I'd like to see you know, a couple deep shots, but these dump offs definitely seem to be working for them. You're correct. Here we go. Dumps off the ball again. To the left this time to Antonio Stevens. His first catch of the night. It will be second and six. Rebels. Okay, here, so it's second and six. Shinobi pulls up on the all. He's coming out with a gun, which uh, doubles formation. Single back, drops back, scans the field, gets the ball off. Pass is complete. Man is open. And it's that guy. Woo, John Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. Yeah, that's what happens. Way to go up for the ball at the highest point by John Smith. Albino, I mentioned him earlier to you. You know, you know Thomas Ferguson has been getting a lot of the catches tonight for the Rebels, but John Smith is always there when you need him in the clutch. He is a big playmaker, big star as a freshman for the Rebels, and he goes up and makes a play, makes it happen, brings this game within three. Here we go. Ball's kicked off here to, to Lane Green Wave. Nice, nice return here by Ben Blazing of 24 yards. So now here comes Smoke Rivers, Kaiju Witten, MJ Witten, Ben Blazing. This talented, and what else? I can't forget Tanner Baxter. This talented Green Wave offense. They're in the empty set. Smoke Rivers scans the field, dumps the ball off to Kaiju, breaks the tackle. He is tackled. He's in second and in inches for the Green Wave. Kaiju Witten with a 10 yard reception. Yeah, that definitely, that touchdown is definitely going to help the Rebels here with momentum. They just need to keep playing hard on defense. We got trips to the left. Boom! Cracked in the backfield by who other than Bo Cannon. Third and two for the Tulane Green Wave. 
Yeah, absolutely gorgeous read there by Cannon. I mean, he he saw that one all the way, and he was there before. They knew what hit him. Here we go. It's third and two. Smoke Rivers drops back, dumps the ball off to the left. He is hit immediately, but after making the reception, actually, actually, the ball is dropped. That is incomplete pass. That's my mistake, folks. The ball, he must have dropped that ball. His hands did touch it, though. It is fourth and two. Green Wave will be punting the ball away to Ole Miss Rebels. Ole Miss definitely going to be feeling good about this one. You know, getting a touchdown, and then right after that, you know, getting a defensive stop. So they're going to be feeling good about themselves right about now. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, great stop. It has to be confidence on this for the defense, for Ole Miss, for getting another stop, especially after getting a touchdown. Let's see what Jim Shinobi does in this offense. First pass is completed to Thomas Ferguson, 10 yard reception, right out the gates. First down, it will be first and 10 Rebels. Here we go, coming out with trips formation to the left. Shinobi in the gun, drops out, drops back, dumps the ball off to Ralph Rodriguez. Pass is complete to Ralph, but it's for no gain. The Tulane uh, defensive uh, backfield was all over that one. It's going to be second and 10 here for the Rebels. Yeah, I know no gain there, um, but I mean, you still can't complain. You know, it's not a negative loss. You know, nothing negative there, at least. Exactly. Here we go. Trip to the left. Looks like Ginobili was pulled. That was a keeper on that play, or it was just a, 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 a fumbled, I mean, a, you know, a, a messed up play there, but he was tackled immediately regardless. It's going to be third and 14 for the Rebels. Yeah, I'd like to see another dot here by Shinobi. Here we go, drops back, scans the field, dumps the ball off, pass is complete. Woo, pass is complete. George Johnson for a 19-yard reception. After facing third and long, the Rebels come back and get another first down. First and 10, Rebels. You know, I, I watched Jen Shinobi a lot last season. Um, and, you know, he, he seemed to struggle a little bit there. Uh, but this season, he definitely seems to be finding himself. I believe, you know, his new coaching staff got in there and got him together. Oh, pass is incomplete. Looks like George Johnson might have dropped that ball at the last minute. Nice defensive play as well, though, by the Tulane uh, Green Wave. Yeah, touching on what you're saying, Albino, I think he just, you know, put a, little, a lot of more time into the film room. And he's been a little bit more dedicated to... Oh! Oh my gosh, interception to Lane Green Wave. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, he's at the 20, he's at the 10. Touchdown, Green Wave, bust the McNutt, takes it to the crib. And you know, that is going to be an unfortunate pick six there. But I still think, you know, there's still plenty of game left. And Jen, you know, the way he's been playing, he'll be all right. You know, I think he'll he'll be fine. Yeah, what a what a uh, a huge shift of momentum here for Tulane. Um, Ole Miss was had, had caused a couple stops back to back. They were looking to come up, go ahead and see if they could take the lead themselves. But Tulane defense, the Green Wave, Buster McNutt said, "Not today, and not right now." He comes up with a huge interception, pick six, puts him back up by ten. Well, here comes Ole Miss offense. Jen Shinobi just needs to bounce off. I mean, you know, brush this off and uh, have a short-term memory. Um, here's first and ten. He comes out with doubles formation. Got the man in motion to the left. Jen scans the field. Passes complete over the middle to John Smith. 17-yard reception. First and ten Rebels. Yeah, you know, and there's, there's John again, like you were saying. You told me at the beginning of the game, I need to watch for that name. You know, he's he's becoming a big part of this this team, um, this game so far. Yeah, he John likes to dip in and dip out, dip out when he feels like it, and he's you know he's got to keep an eye on him. He's real sneaky. Uh, Thomas Ferguson is Mr. Reliable. Another reception, five yards. It will be second and five for the Ole Miss Rebels. Additional, he comes out, empty set formation. They have not ran the ball at all tonight, Alvaro. Here we go. He scans the field, dumps the ball off to the left, passes complete to George Johnson. Three yard reception. It will be third and two. You know, that is actually kind of surprising to me. To I didn't even realize that they hadn't ran the ball yet, but uh, um, the pass is doing all right for him, too, though. There you go. Pass over to the right. Pass complete to Zylo. Zoom. Eight yard reception. 
it will be first and ten Rebels. Yeah, um, Ole Miss is a pass-heavy offense. Um, they have a very talented back in Zylo Zoom, but he's he mainly used for um, catching the ball in the backfield. Here we go, pass over to the right. Pass is complete to John Smith. 20-yard reception, first and ten Rebels. My gosh, I mean, already, you know, Smith over the century mark, and, you know, he's only got three, four catches, so he is just a secret weapon that this Rebel offense needs to use more often. Well, what did I tell you? I told you I ain't going to ever let you down, Albino. I was telling you earlier, watch out for this guy. Look at what he's doing now. Pass off to the left. Looks like there's no a man open, but he just overthrows him. It will be second and ten Rebels. Yeah, another situation, he's a brush it off, you know, take a breath and do good this next play. Got trips to the left, pass over the middle, pass complete to John Smith. Nine yard reception. It is third and one. Looks like they are in field goal range, but they look like they really want to get in the end zone here. Jen Shinobi just needs to make sure he does not turn the ball over. This Green Wave defense is hungry. They are very talented. You cannot slip up. Here goes Jen. Dumps the ball off. Pass is complete. To Ooh, John Smith look like he got in the end zone, but if they're gonna have him at the one, I believe, first and goal, Rebels. Oh man, he's just right there. He found it in. Give it to Zylo, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown on his first carry of the game. No yards. This puts him in the end zone. Zylo zooms in the end zone and is uh, a touchdown for the Rebels. Six points on the board. With this extra point, it will be 17. So it will be Tulane, 20, Ole Miss, 17. Back to a three-point ball game, folks. We got a tight one here. Make sure you fill up your drinks. Get your popcorn. We got a good one. Yeah, absolutely. I'll make sure to stick around for this game. This is going to be good to the end. Ben Blazing with a 26-yard return. Now we got Tulane and Smoke Rivers and Company coming back out on the field in this loud Ole Miss environment. Rebels playing at home against this, this talented Tulane Green Wave offense. Here we go. Pass is completed. He is tackled immediately. Ben plays in three-yard reception. It will be second and seven for the Green Wave. Remember, Tulane has a, a turnover in this game, a pick six. Ole Miss defense does not have a turnover yet. Here we go. Pass is complete right out of bounds. Uh, after receiving the ball to Ben Blazin, it will be third and one after that reception. And Ole Miss defense, I think they're playing just a tad too conservative. Um, just not watching the receivers close enough. There you go. Pass off to the left, and the pass is incomplete. Trey Sean Carter with the coverage. It will be fourth and one, and the Green Wave looks like they will be punting the ball away to the Ole Miss Rebels. And this is... You know, they definitely would, it would definitely help them out motivational-wise for the players if they can make something happen here before the half. As you can see the stats there, folks, Ole Miss is leading the yardage by quarter so far. Um, the first quarter, it was uh, a lead by Tulane. The second quarter is lead by Ole Miss. Here's a sack in the backfield by the Tulane. Defensive lineman El Jefe de Goat with his second sack of the game all in Jen Shinobi's face. It will be second and 19 now for his Ole Miss Rebel offense. Yeah, just absolutely no time. I mean, he got through that line pretty pretty quick, which is unfortunate. We got a doubles formation. Here goes Jen Shinobi, dumps the ball off, passes the complete to Zylo Zooms, five yard reception. There's one minute left in this second quarter. I would like to see Ole Miss Rebels push this ball downfield. Time is of the essence here. Here we go. It's third and 13. There are two timeouts remaining for both squads. Shinobi drops back. Scans. Gets the ball off. But his pass is incomplete. It does stop the clock. But it will be fourth and 13. They will now have to punt the ball away to the green wave. With about 50 seconds left. Smoke Rivers and company. And, and Rebels just need to hold them here, uh, keep the game close going into half to, to keep their, to keep it up. Keep it up and make, you know, make sure that Tulane does not get in the end zone here before halftime. Um, 
the last time they pulled within three, I believe Shinobi threw a pick six. So here we go. Passes out to the left. Passes complete. The Ben Blazing. 18 yard reception out the gate. Tulane calls a timeout. Stop the clock. Jay Money with the tackle. It is first and ten. Green wave. You got smoke rivers in the gun. Drops back. Stands the field. He's looking. He's looking. He dumps the ball off. And the ball is knocked down by Noah Martell at the last second. Great defensive play by the defensive back for the Ole Miss Rebels. It will be second and ten. We got trips to trips to the right for Tulane. Smoke River scans the field. He's looking. Woo! Sacked in the backfield by Mr. Elitris War. Nice sack at the right time. The clock will continue to run. Let's hurry up offense for Tulane, Tulane Green Wave. 20 seconds left on the clock. It's third and 18. Smoke Rivers is scanning the field. He dumps the ball off. Pass is complete. Pass is complete to Ben Blazin. 28-yard reception. Let's hurry up offense. They are running to the line to stop the clock. Looks like they were going to try to attempt a field goal here before halftime. It's first and 10. Actually, they're going for it. They dump the ball off. They're going to the end zone. And it's a touchdown for by Ben Blazin. What a blown coverage by the Ole Miss Rebel defense. How? How, Albino? How? Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, honestly, an impressive drive by the Green Wave. Less than a minute to go for the, until the half. I mean, that's what you call a two-minute offense. Yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, Tulane, Tulane said, we're not going for no field goal today, Beast. We're going down here getting in the end zone. And that is exactly what they did. Um, very impressive drive, two-minute offense. Um, the way to run efficiently during the, that time period. I had to tip my hat off to you on that one, most definitely. So we got a return here to our Ole Miss. It looks like it's only about eight seconds left in this second quarter. We're just going to take a shot here would be my guess. Looks like they're going to hand the ball off to Antonio Stevens around the corner. No game. That run will take us into halftime, folks. It is a 10-point lead for Tulane, 27, Ole Miss, 17. This is ECFL broadcast. I'm your boy, 951 Beast in the booth with Albino. So, Albino, we've seen that touchdown before halftime. Tulane just pull away and increase their lead. Um, what have been some of the standouts and key points that you've seen from this first half? Um, you know, at first I thought the Witten brothers would be the one to punch like normal, but uh, Ben Blazin's definitely been, you know, showing out the last little bit. Smoke Rivers, as always, is trying to keep his composure. Um, but, you know, defensively, Ole Miss, you know, they've got Bo Cannon out there making play after play. Um, and, you know, their offense is, you know, they're playing a pretty solid offense. Um, but I do think maybe getting a couple more runs in would, would benefit them for sure. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that as well. Um, it seems that their offense is really pass heavy. They've been going to Thomas Ferguson a lot. Uh, you know, the star receiver for Ole Miss, uh, John Smith, has been making plays, trying to do his best to keep his, te keep his team in this ball game. Um, Tulane, they have, you know, that three-headed monster over there with Smoke Rivers, both the Kaiju, I mean, they got both the Witten brothers making plays. And then obviously, you have Tanner Baxter, and as you said, Ben Blazin. Um, the, the Tulane defense has been playing great as well. Actually, both defenses have looked like they came, they both came to play tonight, which is, which is well. Um, we'll just have to see what happens here in the second half. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that one. You know, it's been a great defensive game. Um, but I'm excited, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see what Smoke can do with this two-lane offense, and I'm excited to see what the, you know, the Rebels' secret weapon of John Smith can do. Yes, exactly. I'm definitely interested to see what's going to happen with that. It looks like we have a pause in our coverage. Bear with us, everyone. We are here in the booth, wondering what's going on. We got the players hanging out on the field, just chilling. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. I wasn't sure if it was just me, but it seems like a pause in coverage. Uh, we are waiting for 
an adjustment to be made to get everyone back on the field and ready to come out for the second half. Okay, there it is, and we are back on this for the second half of this ball game. Ball was kicked off to Tulane. Nice return there by Ben Blazing, and it's going to be first and ten for Smoke Rivers and Company. All right, here we go. We got doubles to the left for Smoke. He has the field, dumps the ball off. He is met immediately. Actually, that pass is complete to Chache Manino. Second catch of the night. It will be second and three for the Green Wave. Um, yeah. Yeah, like you said, he got met immediately. And um, I think that was Norman Martell, who, who definitely laid the boom on him, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, here we go. It's, looks like it's uh, doubles to the left. Hands the ball off to Kaiju. Slides by a defender. Tripped up. Gains a few yards, but it's enough for the first down. First and ten, green waves. Hands the ball off to Kaiju again. He's met it immediately. Bo Cannon comes up and meets Kaiju in the hole. That's going to be a great matchup. We can watch that all night. <laughs> Albino, uh, Kaiju, and Bo Cannon right there. It's going to be second and seven for the green wave. Smoke Rivers comes out with trips to the left. Smoke Rivers drops back, dumps the ball off, passes incomplete. Incomplete pass. Pass is broken up by Jay Money. It will be third and seven for the Green Wave. Coming out in the doubles formation. Smoke drops back, scans the field, scans the field. He's looking, he's looking. Pass is complete to Kaiju Witten, but it is before he gets past. The yard marker, it will be fourth and one for the Green Wave, and they will have to punt the ball away to the Ole Miss Rebels. Good defensive stand here, good start for the Rebels. So I like to see what they can do here now that they've got the ball. Here we go. Nice little small return here by George Johnson of the Rebels. <laughs> it will be first and ten. Rebels come out with the trips formation to the left. Shinobi's looking, he's scanning, dumps the ball off the Zylo, pass is complete. 11 yard reception, first and 10, Rebels. Zylo zoom with his ninth catch of the ball game. Yeah, good catch, you know, and way to keep his feet moving. Here we go, doubles to the left, got Zylo zooms in motion. Shinobi drops back, scans, dumps the ball off. Pass is completed for a four yard game by George Johnson. His 11th catch of the night. It will be second and six for the Rebels. Kamikaze Von Doom with another tackle. Sitting at seven for the night. Ooh, wow. What another play that could have been intercepted. That was really risky for Jim Shinobi. Ralph Rodriguez comes up with the reception. It will be third and six for the Rebels. Yeah, that play was just a quick developing play on both sides. Here we go. Shinobi drops back, scans. He dumps the ball off. Pass is completed. Thomas Ferguson, Mr. Reliable. First and 10 for the Rebels. Thomas Ferguson sitting at seven catches for 70 yards and for the night, averaging 10 yards a catch. We got trips to the right for this Ole Miss Rebel offense. Shinobi hands the ball off on a draw play. Tulane is not fooled. Oh, El Jefe is right back there and makes a huge tackle. Tackle Zylo for a loss as soon as he gets the ball. And it will be second and 13 for the Rebels. Yeah, El Jefe is definitely a, a name you need to look out for when when trying to move the ball. Here they go. Ole Miss scans the field. It looks like Jim, Jim Shinobi doesn't like what he sees. He just throws that ball away. It will be third and 13 here for the Rebels. Shinobi comes out with a doubles formation. Snaps the ball. Gets the ball off. Pass is complete to Dunn Smith. 36-yard reception, first and 10, Rebels. Oh, absolutely gorgeous toe tap there. John Smith saying, yeah. Yeah, so 
Like I told you earlier, Albino, he's real sneaky. He makes plays when he feels like it. When he can get open, he gets open. It's all about just Shinobi getting him the ball. Here we go. Shinobi drops back. Dumps the ball over the middle to Ralph Rodriguez for a six-yard reception. It will be second and four. And Ralph Rodriguez is another sneaky player, too. He's very reliable. He will get open, and he just plays where he needs to be. Um, he's, he's having a quiet game, but he's making a lot of key catches here for this double offense. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's nothing major on his end, but, you know, he's definitely staying solid. Got a man in motion to the left. It's going to be Zylo. Catches the ball along the sideline. Was he out of bounds? He was out of bounds after he made the, he made the reception, but it looked like he could have gained some more yards. But it, it's going to be third and two here for the Rebels. They come out. It looks like a pistol formation. Face the handoff. Gets a toss off to Zylo. Zylo runs the man over. Gets the first down. First and goal, Rebels. Absolutely gorgeous play. Um, and that, you know, I, I love it. Good play. Go. Man in motion. He's going to dump it off to Zylo again. Zylo's going to try to take up field. Gets tackled out of bounds after a four-yard reception. It will be second and goal now for the Ole Miss Rebels. Ole Miss comes out with a doubles formation and a single back. Shinobi drops back, scans the field. D Ooh, what a play there by, I think that is Von Doom. Is that, is that who that is? It looks like number 31 on the play for Tulane. Comes up and knocks the ball down. Great defensive play by the defensive backfield for Tulane. It is third and goal. Shinobi drops back, scans the field, dumps the ball off, passes complete. Touchdown, T. Ferguson. Rebels in the end zone. Gorgeous touchdown there, you know, nice quick play, um, you know, and their Rebels are still in this one. Yeah, nice drive by the Rebels to come down and respond um, after getting the ball back from Tulane. Um, off after that punt, they brought this game back into three. As you guys know, Tulane scored right before halftime to increase the lead by 10 points. Ole Miss said, nah, we're still trying to play. We're in this game. We're at home. We hungry, playing against this top-ranked Tulane team. So it is a three-point ball game with about five minutes left in this third quarter. Here comes Smoke Rivers and the Smoke River Show. It's first and ten. Smoke drops back, scans the field. He's looking, he's looking, he's in the bullet, he's a keeper. He is tackled by Bo Cannon. That brings second and five. Here we go, and it's going to be second and five for this the lane offense. We got doubles formation. Smoke Rivers drops back, feeling the pressure, and he is breaks the tackle. Tackled again by Bo Cannon after the first tackle attempt. I believe it was Quentin Sack IMs met him first in the backfield. He wasn't able to wrap yeah. up. Bo Cannon comes to finish his job. It is going to be third and four for these uh, Tulane Green Wave. Yeah, I definitely got a lot more positive yardage on that one than I originally assumed. It will be third and four. We got a man in motion. That's Kaiju out the backfield. Man wide open on the play. Pass is complete to Tanner Baxter. He has had a quiet second half so far, but there goes his first reception of the second half. His fifth catch of the night, sitting at 100 yards. First and 10 to Lane Green Wave. And I think Ole Miss is definitely going to be needing a defensive stop here and trying to turn the game around if they want to, you know, make something happen here. Yeah, they need to make some type of happen because Tulane is, is playing hungry. They're driving the ball. Ooh, what a hit there in the sideline by Mr. Martell himself. Chacha Benito with the reception holds on to the ball after he is blasted. It will be second and one for the Green Wave. We got trips to the right. Hands off the ball to Kaiju up the middle. He is tackled by a host of defenders. It will be first and ten. Green wave. And Kaiju, he just he's got the body build of, you know, he almost looks like a miniature lineman. He reminds me of a a, a, a Jerome Bettis. If anyone, you know knows who the former Pittsburgh Steeler Jerome Bettis is. He reminds me of that similar build, uh, like a 
a linebacker slash D tackle playing running back that is hungry and that will run you over. It's called Zone Bet. Zone Bet is the bus. Looks like they can call Kaiju the green bus because he's running people over. Here we go. Tackle to the left. After the pass is completed to Chacho Menino for a reception, it will be third and three. Green wave. Watch the run, watch the run. Yeah, they're putting together here. Yeah, they've been driving down the field, being very efficient on this drive. Here we go, hands off to Kaiju again. Kaiju, this, is, this has been his drive. He's been getting a lot of carries. 12 yard carry, first and goal, green wave. All right, they come out first and goal. Smoke Rivers hands the ball off to Kaiju right at the middle. Wide open lane. Nobody around him. Touchdown. Green wave. Kaiju with the green wave. Gets in the end zone and increases their lead. Yeah, I mean, good touchdown there. Um, you know, just wide open. But, you know, if you're, if you're a rebel, you know, you're definitely not to be looking at that one and figuring out what went wrong. Yeah, that's the, uh, they need to get back to the drawing board and figure out what happened on that drive. Here goes a nice return here by Ole Miss. George Johnson with a 44-yard return. Quietly runs up the sidelines and has a huge game, which will give the Ole Miss Rebels some nice field position to come out on their next possession. But yeah, back to that drive. Tulane drove down that field um, at ease. Uh, they gave the ball to Kaiju a lot. Kaiju had a lot of good carries, averaging about 8 to 10 yards a carry on that drive, and then he finishes it off with a touchdown in the end zone. So now it's back to a 10-point ball game. It's in the third quarter. We have a little over two minutes left in the third quarter. Coming out in the doubles formation. Jen Shinobi dumps off the ball to Zylo. Four-yard reception. It will be second and six for the Rebel. That makes it second and six. No, kind of a tighter window right there. You know, she didn't have much space to catch that, but... You know, good. Good overall little dump off. Yeah, a little small dump off, but they'll take what they can get. Here we go. They got doubles formation. Dumps the ball. Interception, green wave, and they do not want to see that. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown, green wave. What a momentum shift here. Mason J. Sanders with the pick six. Yeah. Hard, hard pill to swallow. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're Jen in this situation, you know you can accept interceptions. You know they happen, but two pick sixes in the game is just not acceptable. I'm sure he's gonna hear a mouthful on the sidelines from his old Miss coaching staff. But still, then again, great play by Mason J. Sanders. Absolutely, a huge, yeah. huge momentum swift about Bino. I mean. There's only so much this defense can do to try to slow down Smoke Rivers in his offense. So for you to throw two pick sixes in this game when you guys were very much in the game, it's uh, going to be very difficult in an up uphill battle moving forward. Yeah, I mean, you get rid of those two pick sixes, you know, this is a completely different game. No game. That makes I agree. T Knight with the tackle. Jen Sinobi with the loss on the play. Coming out with doubles formation for this Ole Miss Rebel offense. Shinobi hands off the ball to Zylo. Zylo up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Breaks another tackle. Nice hungry run there by Zylo. Zylo wants the ball. He's like, you guys pass the ball all game. Give me the ball, huh? It's going to be third and inches for Ole Miss Rebels. Trips to the right. Shinobi drops back. Dumps the ball off to Zylo. Zylo goes right out of bounds. Uh, I believe Shinobi got a. He has to lead your man up the field before he goes out of bounds, Jen. Yeah, just not a good decision there by Jen to get rid of the ball where he did and when he did. So the ball is punted away to the Green Wave. Here we go on the return here by MJ Witten. 13 yard return. It's going to be first and 10 Green Wave. And Ole Miss definitely needing a huge defensive stop here. Kaiju out there trying to stay alive and miss, avoid all type of tackles. He gets one yard on that carry. It will be second and nine for the Green Wave. Yeah, I mean, that was 
impressive. You know, one yard it breaks three or four tackles. Yeah, he's very talented. I noticed that as well. I mean, he's broke a lot of tackles off for one yard, but it's the effort that counts. Smoke Rivers dumps the ball to the left. The pass is incomplete. Coverage by Trayshawn Sparter. It's going to be third and nine. Looks like Smoke Rivers might have just thrown that ball away due to coverage. Three doubles formation. Smoke drops back. He scans the field. And he is hit. Is that a fumble? No, it's not. Pass is knocked away. And the green wave will be punting the ball away to the Ole Miss Rebels with 47 seconds left here in the third quarter. Major defensive stop there. That's going to be huge that, huh? for Rebels offense. Yeah, they definitely needed that, huh, Albino? Oh, absolutely. I agree with you 100%. Yeah, so they really needed that. Now it's all about Jen brushing in that another pick six, pick six off and seeing what he can do to try to keep his team in this ball game. Jen drops back, scans the field, dumps the ball off, passes complete. George Johnson, eight yard reception will be second and two Rebels. Yeah, a good play there. Uh, just kind of need to speed it up a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think the you know, time is of the essence. The rule kind of slow. Takes the handoff as keeper by Jin. Nice, nice read to keep the ball because uh, Zyla would have been met in the backfield. He gets the first down, first and ten Rebels. Man in motion to the left. Into backfield. He throws it at his back, it looks like. <laughs> that pass just looks like Jim has rushed that decision. It's going to be second and 10 now, Rebels. Yeah, another quick screen play, it looks like, but just not a good decision there. Got a man in motion out to the right. Oh, Miss dumps the ball off to Zylo. Eight yard reception will be third and two for the Rebels. And that is the end of the third quarter. The lane is up, 41, Ole Miss, 24. This is the ECFL broadcast. I'm your boy, 951 Beast in the booth with Albino. This was a very close game. After a couple turnovers, Tulane Green Wave has pulled away. Ole Miss is still very much in this game. They have to make a play. They have to make it now. Here we go. Shinobi drops back. Actually, he was going to be on a keeper, and he has tackled for a loss on the play. It will be fourth and five. Everybody in the chat, go ahead and throw your fours up. You know what time it is. Yeah, get those fours up, everybody. It looks like Ole Miss actually might be going for it here. Hey, they might as well. You got your backs against the wall, going against the fight against against a real bully here. And the pass is complete, and it's first down. Nice first down, first game by George Johnson. He just gets past the first down yard marker. It looks like he just stretched his arm over the, the marker, so, you know, good. Attempt by him there. Kamikaze Von Doom with the tackle. Here we go. Pass is complete here to George Johnson. He goes right back to George Johnson. Seven yard reception. It will be second and three here for Ole Miss Rebels. They need to have a little bit of uh, up tempo offense here. Like you said, Albino, it is eight minutes left in this ball game and they are down. They need to make plays happen. Ball is thrown deep. Incomplete pass. It will be third and three for the Rebels. You know, not a, not a big deal to throw that one away. You know, you're still real close. Just got to take a breath and, and make it happen. Here we go. We decide to run the option on third down. And El Jefe blasts Jim Shinobi in the backfield before he can pitch it to Zylo. It will be fourth and eight, and they are going for it. Yeah, absolutely no other decision here. Here goes Jim Snowby, dumps the ball off. Pass is completed. First down, George Johnson. Seems like Albino, when they have these fourth downs, they're three for three on four fourth down conversion. Or two yeah. for two. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're definitely solid on uh, those fourth down conversions, and George Johnson has been a big part of them. Here they go with Devils formation. Jim Snowby drops back. He attempts to throw the screen pass, but he is met in the backfield by El Jefe. It will be second and ten here for the old Miss Rebels. Come, coming out with the trips right formation. Jen drops back, scans the field. Defensive back, the defensive. It looks like that was a corner blitz right there by Kaiser Washington. Spencer along the edge, nobody blocks him. Gets right to Shinobi. 
sacked. Third and 18 for the Ole Miss Rebels. What a great play by Kaiser Washington. Yeah, uh, great play. Um, you know, third in a mile here, so I'd definitely like to see a shot here from Jen. Jen drops back. He gets the ball off. And it's caught by Ralph Rodriguez. Touchdown, Rebels. What a play. Mr. Reliable himself as well. Like I said earlier, Ralph makes plays. He has a quiet night, but he will come but come open when you need it. But he's right there in the end zone. Touchdown, Rebels. Yeah, I mean, exactly like you said, you know, he's usually pretty solid. He's got a quiet night, but right there, he's showing why he, you know, he can be relied on. Definitely right there. So here it is. They're back in a 10-point ball game. The key thing is, asleep. let's see if this Ole Miss defense can come and slow down Smoke Rivers in this Smoke Rivers show for the Tulane Green Wave. Um, they've stopped this Tulane offense before, but they need to make a stop right now. It is seven minutes left in this ball game, ten point ball game, folks. It's been closer. The closest has been is a three point ball game. Here we go. Smoke River scans the field. He is tackled. Oh, not tackled. You know the first man that hits Kaiju, usually never going to bring him down. He breaks the first tackle and is tackled by the second defender. It will be second and in inches for the Tulane Green Wave. Mo Cannon with another tackle. It is second in inches. Smoke Rivers keep, pulls the <laughs> keeper. And there goes Quentin Sack IMs in the backfield. Big boy wants to make plays, and he made a play huge there. Throws the boom on Smoke Rivers. Here we go. Third and two. Key down here for Smoke Rivers and company. And this old Miss defense. See if they can hold them again. Smoke Rivers looks around, scans the field. Pass is complete to Kaiju Witten along the sideline. He was wide open. Somebody has to watch that man coming out the backfield. Yeah, you can't leave Kaiju open coming out of the backfield or you're going to get hurt all game long. Burnt or ran over or something. Here goes Smoke. He, he has plenty of time. He dumps the ball off. Ball is knocked down by Trayvon Carter. He does that in the back of the end zone. He will pick the ball off in the back of the end zone. I believe he had an interception like that last game. Um... Here we go. We got trips to the left. A short stack trips. Moat scans the field. Dumps the ball to the left. Tache Menino with the four yard reception. It will be third and six now for the Green Wave. Clock is still moving, so Rebels definitely need to make something happen right now. Right now, like yesterday. Here we go. Ball is dumped off. He stays in bounds. He gets the first down. Tanner Baxter. Six yard reception. He's having a night. Six catches, 111 yards, 18 yards, a catch. Here we go. It's going to be first and 10. Doubles formation. Drop back. Been blazing with a six yard reception. It will be second and four for the Green Wave. And two lane, you know, obviously just taking their time. No, no need to rush right now. No need to rush because they are moving the ball very efficiently. Um, they're milking the clock in the process. Here we go. Smoke Rivers dumps off the ball to the left. It's tackled immediately. What a great tackle there by Trey Sean Carter. Third and five. Yeah, you know, I mean, like like we were just saying, I do usually breaks off that first tackle, but great open field tackle there by Carter. I mean, he just, you know, he wasn't letting him get anywhere. At all. Trips to the right. Got Tulane. Scans the field. He is met immediately by, I believe that was Jay Money on the tackle. Catch by Ben Blazing. It's going to be first and ten. Green wave. I believe the one way that this old Miss team can get back in the ball game is causing a turnover. But Mr. Smoke Rivers himself has been very, efe very efficient this game. Um, he has not thrown an interception all game. Yeah, he's been very efficient. You know, he's been on target. You know, a lot of his uh, receptions that haven't been completed are because of drops and deflection. So he's had a good game. Yes, here he goes. Trips to the left. Scans the field. Pass is complete. Tackled by Bo Cannon to Chache Manino. It will be second and three. Smoke Rivers is sitting at 33 for 44. 
Mo Cannon has 10 tackles on the night, one for a loss. It is second and three trips to the left. He's going to hand it off to Kaiju. They should have known that Kaiju is getting the ball on short yardage situation. Where are the defenders? Yeah, I mean, Touch once again. <laughs> Touchdown, Green Wave. My bad. Touchdown, Green Wave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, once again, you know, Tulane just breaking open a window big enough for a semi to get through, and Kaiju is just untouched. Untouched. I mean, he could. Anybody could have ran to that hole. I mean, my goodness. Here we go. Ball's kicked off to the Ole Miss Rebels. George Johnson with the 19-yard return. It will be first and ten for Jim Shinobi and company. Yeah, Albino. When you're at the goal line situation, run a goal line defense. Run a package that's going to be able to at least um, prevent easy runs like that into the end zone. I mean, that was a walk-in. Here we go. A sack. Again, another sack for this Tulane Green Wave defense. He Knight with the sack. Ginobi's been getting put on his back all night. Yeah, this offensive line is definitely uh, they've been they've been lacking a little bit tonight. Unfortunately, you know they've done decent all season, but tonight they're they're letting him get hit a lot. Yeah, he's got trips to the left. Ginobi dumps the ball off. He goes deep. Pass is complete. Down the field to John Smith, 50-yard, 53-yard reception. John Smith has eight catches for 200 yards in this game. When I'm telling you, Albino, John Smith's that guy, he's that guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's just amazing, you know, looking at, you know, the numbers, you know, just what the difference in score is, just because of the numbers of yardage that he's got. I mean, as a receiver, he's definitely has to be for it. Uh, one of the top receivers in the league of the year. You gotta look at his, I'm not sure what his stats are for the season, but I'm pretty sure if anyone looks it up online, they are very impressive. Here we go. First and 10. Another first down from second to, Tom, to, to Thomas Ferguson with the catch. Nice game as you see the replay. It is first and 10 Rebels. They, it's only four minutes left in this ball game. I mean, here we go. Shinobi drops back, scans the field. Dumps off to the left, passes a complete to Zylo for a one-yard reception. It's second and nine. You know, you, you take away those two pick sixes, and, and you got a three-point game here. So, if you know, if Rebels end up losing... Oh, keeper by Shinobi, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Jin. Nice keeper by Jin Shinobi. Gets in the end zone. You're right, you're right, Abano. I know what you're saying. If without those two pick sixes, I mean, this would be a much closer ball game. Ole Miss gets in the end zone with that nice run by Jin Shinobi. After this extra point, it will be back to a 10-point ball game. But there's only three minutes left in this ball game. I'm pretty sure Tulane is going to attempt to run the run this clock out. Yeah, and something major needs to happen here. If you're onside right. kick set up, Rebels. Onside kick set up, and Tulane does recover. The various Washington with the recovery for the Tulane Green Wave. As you can see, the highlights of both those pick sixes, they were, you know, reading our mind there, Albino. They wanted to show it to us just to remind us. Those are some <laughs> huge, huge key plays in this ball game. Absolutely. Um, they're going to hand the ball off to Kaiju, of course, right up the middle. Runs the man over. <laughs> and he is tackled, of course. After he breaks the runs the man over first. Mr. Run you over first, then, I get, then I'll take a tackle. Uh, <laughs> it's first and 10 here in front of the green wave. Smoke Rivers in the gun with a doubles formation. Hands the ball off to Kaiju. Breaks the tackle. And then he is tackled by Bo Cannon. Yeah, you watching, watching Bo Cannon. That guy just knows how to hit. <laughs> Bo Cannon and Kaiju have been going at it all night. It's been very fun to watch. Um, Kaiju usually breaks the first tackle, but he has to. He knows that Bo Cannon is going to be the guy to come clean up the job. It is second and ten here for the Green Wave. Hands the ball off to Kaiju. This time, he, yep, he breaks another tackle, first tackle. And he is, well, there it is, a first, first down, Green Wave. Um, not sure how many yards he got on it, but it doesn't matter. First and ten, Green Wave. They got trips to the left. Drops back. Smoke Rivers in the gun. He's scanning the field, scanning the field. And it is intercepted by Mr. Martell. Major, major, major interception there. But is it too little, too late? What do you think, Beast? Man, what a play. 
What a huge, they finally, they got an interception off of Smoke Rivers. I think that if, you know, two minutes left, anything can happen. You never say never, but this sack in the end zone, and it will be a safety. El Jefe to go. Oh, man, what a, you know, a huge play there by, you know, uh, Mr. Martell at defensive back for the Ole Miss Rebels. He did his best. He got the interception, but. It's just unfortunate that uh, the location where you received that interception, um, they pushed their offense on the goal line, and you know, Mr. El Jefe went out there with one job, one job only, get the sack in the end zone, and he did it. That will be a, a safety, which puts Tulane at the 50-point mark. They're up by 12, 50 to 38. One minute and 54 seconds left here. We are yeah. waiting. We're waiting for someone to uh bring me my Gatorade. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, Martel there, he's just doing what he's supposed to be doing. Um, you know, Rebels defense, they're they're playing the way they're supposed to be playing, but you know, those I'm gonna keep going back to it. Those pick sixes are just destroying this offense right now. Destroying this offense. Um, I mean, it's like, you know, that was a huge play by Martell to get there and make that interception. But, I mean, like you said, you just, right when you said it, it's too little, too late. And Mr. El Jefe gets in there and makes the, the, the sack and then going for the safety. Here we go. It's doubles formation. Mr. Kaiju gets it up the middle. Seven yard carry. They believe they want to milk the clock. Timed out by old Miss coaching staff to stop the clock. We're at 1 minute 44. We got doubles formation. Hands the ball off to Kaiju. Kaiju gets tripped up. It will be enough for the first down. First and ten. Green wave. That will be uh, put that that carry will put Kaiju over the century mark tonight. He's at 103 yards. But Ole Miss has done a good job slowing him down, Albino, because I've seen games where Kaiju's had easily 200 yards, 175. So for him to be at 100, barely over 107 yards with this game winding down. Um, this it shows a lot of credit to this Ole Miss Rebel defense. Yeah, strong, strong defensive game by the Rebels tonight. You know, I'd be proud of our defense, but offense definitely uh, gonna have to look at look at the film tonight. Hands off the ball, breaks the tackle, like he always does. Three yard carry. It's third and two now for the Tulane Green Wave. It looks like they're just gonna run the clock out. Tackle made by Trayvon Carter. Great game, Tulane Green Wave. Uh, they pulled away, won this ball game fair and square. Unfortunately for Ole Miss Rebels, those two pick sixes um, put you with that, without reach of the ball game. Player of the game, Kaiju Witten, 21 carries, 110 yards, seven catches for 38 yards. This has been an ECFL broadcast. I'm your boy, 951 Beast. That was in the booth with. Uh, oh, this is my boy, Mr. Albino himself. And that's the end of the ball game, folks. 50 to 38. Delay pulls away. Thanks for coming out tonight. Look forward to seeing you guys in the playoffs. Have a great evening. Yeah, everybody have a good night. And then beef. It was a pleasure calling with you, man. I appreciate it. Sounds good. Had a great time calling with you as well, Albino. Everybody drive home safely. Uh congratulations to, to Lane Green Wave. Maybe old Miss will make the playoffs and maybe they won't. But we'll see what happens. Everybody have a good night. <laughs>